It's the fifth largest country in the world, and it's becoming a major player in the global economy. But beyond carnival, samba, and soccer, what do we really know about Brazil? Today, a conversation with the director of the Brazil Institute at the Woodrow Wilson Center, Paulo Sotero. I'm Maria Hinojosa. This is One on One. But Brazil, when you think about it, is surrounded by countries that are not as, not at all as developed as Brazil. I mean, you have uh, Guyana, mm -hmm. you have Suriname, you have Bolivia, yes. um, Colombia, Venezuela, more developed. So what is the, what is the relationship now uh, in terms of South America? You know, one of the qualities of uh, Brazil and of Brazilian diplomacy, this is for uh, 100 years, is to have uh, maintained very good relations with neighbors. We are one of the few countries on earth that has eight neighbors. Uh, one of the reasons we are good diplomats is because not only we have a, the temperament for democracy, we are great negotiators. Uh, I think it comes from our Portuguese soul. But uh, it's also because we had to. We had eight neighbors, to, and neighbors that were uh, 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 very frequently fighting among themselves. So, so, so is Brazil also thinking now, we have eight neighbors, we're very wealthy, we're developing, our economy is growing you're going to have an immigration problem. Well, no, we have already started. You have 100,000 immigrants from Bolivia. That's one of the poorest countries in the hemisphere. Brazil, it's the longest border Brazil has with any country is Bolivia. Now, how we go about this, I think we are doing it quite competently. Of the 100,000 illegal immigrants uh, that arrived from Bolivia in the past few years, uh, uh, 80,000 are or are in the process of being legal residents of Brazil. The challenge for Brazil, you know, as we continue to prosper, we are going to probably become economically even more important than we are now. We are 60% of the economy of South America. We are likely going to become 65 and 70% in the next 10 years. Now, the, the, the challenge is to make our, to share our prosperity so we can help countries like Bolivia, about 10 million people, Paraguay, about uh, 5 million people. Those are countries that are completely dependent on the Brazilian economy. And also Argentina and Peru and Colombia and all the countries in the Amazon, we have to be wise to share this prosperity. Why, wh how you do this? integrate our economies, build more infrastructure, more roads, more contacts. We can benefit from that but and they can benefit from our development.